Monday. I hope everybody out there is doing good, great, blessed, and staying productive. I'm doing good, great, blessed, and staying productive. Before jumping into today's reaction video, uh, Lala got something to say. And also, if y'all did not catch my last upload, which was on Thursday, y'all, there is a thumbnail. Go over and check it out. Now, I have something to say before I jump into today's reaction video. I just want to say, uh, y'all probably noticed I have been in my comment section uh, just giving some from me to you to a lot of y'all. I'm still making my rounds. Um, acknowledging that y'all have been recognized. Y'all have been recognized for just supporting, showing love on, <laughs> I would say, continuously. Uh, I just want to say I am just basically giving a personal thank you so much to y'all for just rocking, okay? For just sharing y'all thoughts and opinions. Just taking time out of your day to even move your fingers, okay? Or even watch my video basically showing love and support. I tell y'all all the time, okay? Even just being recognized through YouTube, it don't even take that for me to come on and recognize all, okay? All of my Lala gang, all of uh, the ones that is subscribed, all of the ones that is not even subscribed, but y'all come here and y'all take the time out y'all day to listen, to hear me out, uh, to basically leave a comment, a like, uh, however, okay? Whatever you choose to do of what you want to do. Even if it's a dislike, I wouldn't give a shit, okay? Just taking time out to see what I'm giving. I appreciate that. And my La La Gang, <laughs> y'all already know y'all every fucking thing to me. The ones that has been rocking with me for a very long time, I continue to tell y'all thank y'all so much because then it's where I say, y'all have been rocking with me for years. Y'all have been rocking with me since uh the mommies. Y'all have been rocking with me since I just had started and I was sitting on the floor and didn't know what direction or Thank you. Thank you for the ones that has been rocking with me when I was going through change. Thank you for the ones that has been rocking with me to say, hey, well, allow me to show what change look like and all these things. Going to the next channel. I thank you for the ones that continue to rock with me here, back when, now, over there. The ones that just rock with me on every fucking thing. I appreciate it. I also say thank you to the ones that share... <laughs> Y'all true thoughts, okay? And I say at the end of the day, don't ever be afraid to say, it's Lala. Uh, can you give this? Or it's Lala. Uh, <laughs> I'm just so tired of her. Or it's Lala. Girl, stop repeating yourself. She's not going to change. I thank y'all for just speaking y'all thoughts. I mean, because shit, if I'm on here, I'm going to speak it. And I can say and agree. Some days I do get tired. And that's why I take breaks. I take breaks. But then I have to say, I can't just say, oh, fuck that hoe. I can't, y'all. Long as she is in the YouTube streets, long as I'm going to be standing tall and standing fucking strong on that hoe. <coughs> it's, uh, I was going to say, Adam's okay Adam's apple I'm gonna stand on that hole okay I'm trying to correct that bitch anyways y'all I'm just doing what I feel that I need to do because it's not where I'm in the YouTube streets and I'm saying oh let me talk about her or let me no because the ones that have been following me y'all know I gave up on reactions okay but then I came back and then I said well mommies but it wasn't for me to talk about the mommies because then that's when she crossed my path. But I'm not going into all that. All I'm saying is y'all be open to speak, okay? It is okay. I can acknowledge a lot of things. Some of y'all want new shirts and sweatshirts. It's okay to throw y'all thoughts and opinions out. Whatever for us, Lala, I have, I have really matured a lot okay and i think i should be with my age but a lot of us age but we don't 
Um, I don't look at trolls and negative comments and all these things as I used to. You're able to speak freely of trying to give me advice or a, trying to get me to acknowledge, well, you feel this way. Okay, I acknowledge it the best way that I know how. But I can also say, for Nika, <laughs> until I know it's a fucking touchdown. Okay, I'm still here, but I get tired too. Okay, that's why I take major breaks. And in this time where she is demonetized, don't really have nothing to post, it's good and great for me because I can take breaks. I can only take, I can also take breaks because I have sponsorships. I have sponsorships that I need to actually work on and also to go over to my other side and actually build. Uh, if you want in vlogs and different things of that nature of It's Lala, you're not going to get that from It's Lala, and I'm just being honest. You might go down in my videos and you might see some of that, but I didn't have another channel then. That is something that I probably, okay, I probably give over on the other side. So then that's where it's like best of both worlds. A lot of y'all asking, uh, kids, where's your kids? Uh, let me just say, you probably will never see my kids. You probably see my baby. He's eight, about to be nine. You b might see him. He just came to me the other day. And he was like, you know what? You remember we used to do our videos with the mukbangs and eating and you used to have me on your channel. He said this to me out of the blue. And I said, mm-hmm. And he was like, can we do that again? So then I'll go like... But we don't eat the same thing. He said, it's okay. You know, we can eat, you know, something vegan like pizza or something like that. So I said, okay, you know what? That is a, a full check that he wants to jump back in the seat and be my little co-host as he call himself. So that is something that we are going to push and put to play uh, over on Hershey Me. Now, on the other hand, I do have a 20-year-old and I have an 18-year-old. They're not into YouTube, so you will never see them. Uh, my son, he works as well, and my daughter, she's in school, and she works sometimes, too, as well. So they're not into that, and I don't force them to be into that. If my baby want to do it, then, hey, we can do it. So that's what you're going to see. So for the ones for y'all that if you are a troll, whoever you are trying to come for me, like, oh, let me see your kids. Bitch, if you go down in there, you might see my kids. And if you done seen my kids before, that don't mean that they look the same or however now. Uh, I just remember one comment of somebody saying, like, my daughter, she's obese or some shit like that. It's so hilarious and funny to and it's so fucking funny because if I was to put her on display right now, I think you'll just just you'll just have to just close your fucking mouth shut, okay? Uh, asking about me and my jobs and what I do. At the end of the day, I don't have to explain what I do, what I do ex outside of YouTube, how I make my coins, how this and how that. One thing uh, I can say is if I got to work, I would definitely work. I have no problems with that. Uh, Y'all have heard me say several times, <laughs> I mean, working overnight is my thing. That's the only thing that I can do. But at the end of the day, I'm good and great. Um, doing good and great. Uh, what else can I say? I never come on here begging nobody for anything. So then that's where I say, if I ain't never begging, if I ain't asking nobody to pay my bills, pay my lights, feed my kids, buy things for my kids or anything, don't question the grown ass B-I-T-C-H about what she give and do for her household or her children, okay, that is standing alone in the background. What I do do is what I continue to do and what I have always done, okay? So then that's where I say, just if that is something that you wanted to know, I'm just saying, um... Never of my years have I came on here and had to say, hey, can y'all send me this? I think what has been a woman, um, you should be able to hold your household down. Now, do times get rough? It do get rough. But when I go through my rough patch, my rough patch ain't for everybody. My rough patch ain't for nobody to feel sorry for me. My rough patch is sometimes just write it and jot it down or just go into my quiet place and have a conversation with the most high about what I'm going through because he know what I'm going through and he's the only one that can get me out of it, okay? That's how it's la la do it. So then that's where I say I have my other side of... Given it's la la, a lot of y'all don't understand me, won't understand me, and it's not for y'all to understand me, okay? But uh just want to say thank y'all so much for everything. Y'all thoughts, y'all quit. Anyways, y'all, that's it. That's all. Thank y'all so much. La la gang for all that y'all do. Pat yourself on the back. 
Okay, throw that arm up. Y'all be standing real strong on everything, okay? Anyways, y'all, so jumping in today's reaction video, I will be talking about Shanika Grant addressing her. I was addressing her for a lot of things that she said, just keeping it real and raw. Also talking about um, everything where it stemmed, everything is stemmed right down to the fucking root. The root, the root of the problem, the root of who she is. I know a lot of people... Say like, girl, she will never change. Girl, she continue to do the same thing. Leave it alone. I can't. Okay, it's not about her. It's really about these kids. And it's not about making her change, making her want to change. None of these things. What I give and what I do is try to speak out loud so a lot of people can hear me. A lot of people can hear and also recognize, recognize what she is giving. You understand? Then that's where I say, kind of like Keisha, you know. Uh, Keisha been MIA missing in action for a while, y'all. I'm just saying she ain't brought her up. She ain't said, hey, Keisha, girl, I love you. She ain't showed nothing with Keisha. Keisha has been just MIA since she kind of jumped the fence, jumped the fence over here to La La Gang, and people basically hit her with a lot of shit. Not only hit her with a lot of shit, but a lot of us also recognize it's like she was being flip-flop. It's, it's almost like... She know what Nika give, but I'm I'm still in her because I don't want to give up. Or, I don't know. It was kind of weird. So that's been quiet as well. So then that's where I say if I can speak fucking loud enough and continue to speak to a, allow a lot of people to actually hear. Okay, that's how that's how change. Change, you know, change is made, okay? Being demonetized of uh, not having a lot of people. Uh, give you good feedback, reporting her channel, all these things. That's what I work for because then that's where I say bringing change, bringing awareness for the kids, really stepping on shit. Basically for them, y'all, it's not about Nika. It's not about... It's not about none of that. It's about the background. It's about what YouTube is allowing these mommy channels to actually give with their fucking kids. It's It's... Where YouTube just needs to crack down on a lot of shit. Where a, a lot of people used to say YouTube needs to crack down on re reactions and all these things of reactors and all all these things because saying basically bullying. So then that's where I say I'm not gunning to say, oh, bitch, this is a problem that stemmed to a lot of different things. I, I, I believe mental, mental illness, uh, trauma may be rooted also, as well, I will not rule that out, how she continues to hold on things. Also, from her Facebook page, just talking about a conversation that she overheard with some man that talked about things that took place with his uncle. It's like all this nonsense that's instilled with, within you, but you don't want to work on it. But not knowing that it deep down, it's... it's It's causing the kids to suffer, okay? That's how I see it. Um, so that's what I am talking about today. Uh, basically, I'm jump on this Facebook post. We're going to talk about the laptops and just the school system and what she is giving. Move over to Facebook. We're going to move over to a post, okay, uh, in a video with the kids. In the background, she is yelling at the kids, and she is talking to them about their laptops and all these things. We're also going to talk about a post where... She said she was feeling fucking goofy. Let's talk about that first. That is hilarious. Okay. It shows you how illiterate she is. All right. So the post has A, C, B, C, D, E, F, G. I got P like one, two, three, P, 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 repeat. Okay. Sound goofy as fuck, dumb as fuck. This is a grown ass 40 year old woman here. If I want to be goofy, I'm going to give fucking goofy. Y'all know how that works because I'm goofy as fuck. But she says she is feeling goofy and she gives the pattern of A, C, B, C, D, E, F, G. Bitch, do you know that it's A, B, C, C, D, E, F, G? Or maybe she was trying to be stupid, okay? Give illiterate. But in no area do you have room to give illiteracy when in real reality you is fucking illiterate. I know, ain't no way around it, okay? And that's not me being funny. That's me speaking the truth. This is who she is. When I read some of these posts, you could tell, bitch, you are copying something from somewhere because this is not the way that you talk. You talk 
all good with no with no mistakes, okay? No fucking way. Okay, so then that's where I, where I say, I'm 40 years old, I'm grown as fuck, I'm out here with 10 kids, can't help my kids, can't help my small kids in no type of way possible. I put up a post and say I'm feeling fucking goofy, and this is what I give you. Can y'all repeat after me? Grown ass women's, I want y'all to say A, C, B, C, D, E, F, G, I got a P, like one, two, three, P, 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 repeat. And y'all support this hoe, right? Y'all support... And say it's good and great on everything that she is giving. This is not good and great. This is somebody that's actually battling a lot of shit. Three. Huh? One, two, three, 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 A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I gotta pee like one, two, three. P, 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 A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I gotta pee like one, two, three. P P P P P P P P P P P P P P. Let me tell you something. Sitting in the school line, and I got a P P P. I'm telling you, oof. Got a P P P P P P P. I got a P P P P P P P. Hey boogies, hope you have a blessed, blessed, blessed Monday. Peace to the millies. I am so tired, y'all. Woo! I got this day off right here. I go back to work on a full schedule on tomorrow. Oh God, I'm so damn tired, but my body just co oof, collapsed. I mean, like, literally, I was so tired. I did an eight hour shift yesterday. It wasn't too bad, though. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, when it's hot, it's hot. All right, y'all. See y'all later. Hang on talk about how much how much mcdonald's okay do we not have nothing else to get outside of mcdonald's 40 piece nugget for my kids this is what i'm giving showing the ink knowing that we see clear with showing the ink that you've been playing bingo but now y'all she says she have a job she says she working and she thanked the her friend okay that got her the job then that's where i say i ain't even finna say shit i want y'all to drop it in the comments down below let me know do y'all think this line is here for her really out here putting her foot to the pedal okay and on somebody job i don't think so she ain't working okay what she doing is what she always do ain't this the same one that says she don't want to work it'll show at the end if you working or not because then that's where i say you won't come on begging you won't beg nobody for absolutely anything especially when naya is out here working and you working too both of y'all can hold the ground both of y'all selves don't need shit else and then you just waiting for a little child support shit you should be fucking good and great shouldn't be sitting here going through your book Bookie's pockets no more. I think also with Keisha, y'all, she probably just said, shit, I can't help nobody that don't want to help themselves. You know, sometimes you have friendship, friendships, and it's all cool and great, and you can stick your tongue out and say, oh, uh, friends for life and friends forever until you just come to realization of, I just can't do this whole no more, or I, this, me trying to befriend her and bring a lot of help in is, is bringing a lot of shit towards my family. You understand? And nobody wants to be part of that. You know, Keisha stepped in. Keisha probably stepped in and said, well, she's lacking. She's trying. So let me help. But everything Keisha has given her, it's just like, yeah, where the fucking beds? Kids still sleeping on the floor. The only thing she holding on to is the fucking air fryer. That's about it. Coming through for the kids for their birthday to show up. I believe if Keisha was still around, Keisha probably would have purchased the cake for Elijah. But when I don't have that type of friend no more, hey, and then that's why I say if you go back to one of her videos, you can clearly, okay, clearly kind of feel that she probably was talking about Keisha. This was an old video. So then that's where I say probably when somebody recognizes her shit or don't want to come across to help her anymore, then, you know, you feel fucking stuck out. You feel left behind. So that's where I say I feel like that video was toward Keisha back then, okay? Because it was a point in time where Keisha wasn't around 
as she was before, just like she is giving now. And you would say, a friend that has your back forever and always here, she won't never leave your fucking side until she is slapped with the fucking truth to, to actually realize why are you dealing with this lady and she brings so much baggage, so much baggage to the table. And also listening to her, she don't want to give, she don't want to work, she don't want to do. You see how she treat her kids, you see how she present her kids. How can I have a friend that say, okay, she can't come through for Leah, so let me pick up the slack. It's y'all ones that will continue to always and forever pick up her fucking slack when she ain't even trying to bend over and look at the slack or better yet, go work for it or better yet, even go pick it up. I'm just saying. Anybody that may be out there on the internet that's popular or popular right now, it don't make no sense how you can have a friend that call itself a friend and they turn their back on you. It's just like literally like you just sitting there like, well, um, how's your day going? Or, you know, like friends ain't friends no more. And that's all I got to say. And then the incident that happened yesterday, um, it's like they blame everything on one person. I can't say no name. Blame everything on one person and try to make that person look bad and make it seem like, oh, that person was the bad guy. No, that person was not the bad guy because y'all trying to blame that person because of the fact that they know what's going on with the other person's life. And that's what they use. And I'm not understanding why people just sit there and be like, oh, well, uh, he or she done this or he or she done that and then lie about it. Now, within your soul and within yourself, if you're lying about a certain situation and, and you go out there and you be like, oh, well, you know, I didn't do this today. And then you know you did it and it comes back and backfire on you. Then that's your fault for not telling the truth to fix the lie that you already told. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, people do lie to get their way sometimes. Sometimes people do lie to make sure that they, you know, they got their ass covered. But that lie one day will come up and sneak back on you. And I'm going to tell you something. People say something about karma. They be like, oh, karma comes around. I believe in that karma stuff because I'm telling you, um, back when I was a little bit younger, I had an incident to where I... uh did some shit you know what i'm saying and i was like oh ain't nothing gonna happen oh it came back on me they said it, it'll happen 10 years later no it happened way 14 years later i mean that's what you call grown woman priorities is handling your household even if you had a husband or however bitch you still gotta handle your household on everything and you'll never want another woman to step up and try to handle for you, better yet take care of you, better yet take care of your kids. Then that's where I say, I don't know where they find these hoes at. I just don't know. And I be trying to realize and recognize, is this what y'all really giving out here? And it just don't stop with her. But the neglect, neglect on this hand is, is really real over here. The other mommies, you know, I mean, yeah, anyways. But being out here... Really relying on other people to allow you to make it in life. That's just not the way. That's why I said you 40. Either you're going to get it or you're not. You're going to stay stuck or you're not. You're going to move ahead for your kids or you're fucking not. But if you're coming on here and say, well, I'm goofy today. A, C, B, C, D, E, F, G. I got to pee like one, two, three. P, 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 P. Repeat. Ow. Okay, bitch. You still a child. You still a child and not a fucking adult. You still a child that's trying to steal your kid's childhood because you still want to be that kid. But you have to grow up, okay? We all have to grow up and grow older. But I hope you catch it in time, I would say. Anyways, y'all, so moving on over. About this post real quick, just the beginning. She says... It gets hard sometimes on a mother to raise a boy into a man, especially when the father is not around. But then you will say this would not be a conversation for you to have or for you to even talk about. You know why? Because as you always tell us, uh, you and Hay were co parent Y'all co-parents, so it should never be hard for you of raising a boy, okay, yourself trying to raise him into a man because... Their father, their father is involved. So it's saying, why would you even bring this up about mothers and raising a boy into a man? I think the only ones that can actually speak on this is a single mother that's out here raising a boy into a man. And then that's where I would say at the end of the day, the father round or not, okay? It's maybe certain things that a woman can't show a man 
or how to actually be a man, but we can give them everything they need in life to actually get through and cope because then that's where I say, and I have to say, there are so many single mothers out here that's raising their boy or their son, okay, and to being great men. Okay, I'm just saying, without the fathers being around at all. And then I would bring it up to say, what about the boys that's being raised up by mothers or their father where they fathers are deceased or different things like that. Then you would say, what happens then? Okay, I'm just saying. In a lot of situations where you are in a household and you do have a mother and father, in certain situations you raise your boy to be a man and as a man, but some in some situations, it doesn't even turn out that way. So then that's where you would say, what happened? What happened there? What was the problem there? Okay, so that's not the case. And that's where you say, why would you even use that? Okay, but this shouldn't be a topic or a conversation for you because Hayward, Hayward is in his kid's life. He, he bun and he love his kids. Y'all are co-parenting. And then you say, where is he to raise his sons? Where is he to say, hey, y'all want to keep yourself up? You want to dress like this? You want to keep your hair cut, brush your hair like this? Where is he at? He's not there to do anything. I would say at the end of the day, you probably got Taquan, Taquan um, raising a shape, basically. And we already seeing what that's turning out to be. Uh, we can't speak on raising of a mother raising anything because you're not over there raising your kids, okay? You're allowing your kids to have their way. Have their way without structure, structure on anything. Because then I would have to flip it. What about the females? The females that is raised by their father because they have no choice but to be raised by their father. Is that saying... They can't be raised into a woman because they was raised by a man. I'm just saying, this is the shit that we throw out here. But in real reality, the ones that's out here and doing it, a boy can be raised into a good and great man. Um, being raised by his mother. Okay, I don't take that back. Is there things that we can show that a man can show? No. But it's not saying that we can't raise our sons good and great. I'm just saying. Someone that gives the total opposite, I don't understand, okay? She says it's it gets hard sometimes on a mother. Y'all, I have my retainers in. Uh, on a mother to raise a boy into a man, especially when the father is not around. How would you know, right? How would you know? That's all I would say. You say it gets hard sometimes on a mother to raise a boy into a man, especially when the father is not around. I truly, honestly believe in my heart a boy needs their father to give him guidance and hardcore love. They need to understand nothing in this world is going to be given to you unless you go out and you work for it. Well, that that's the same thing goes for a woman too. That's not only for a man. A woman, you don't work, you don't eat, especially when you have kids. You you don't work, you don't provide. How are you expecting your kids to have the things that they need? It's nobody else's job, okay? Just saying. Uh where was I at? You got work for it. I seen something today that made me think about my life when my uncle was around. He was the only one who taught us everything we know with blood, sweat, and tears. He didn't even care how we may feel or think that he wasn't trying to hurt us, just trying to teach us. Now I truly understand why after I seen this boy with his daddy and uncle talking about money and how to do things a certain way. People quick to say he's going to be G-A-Y, okay? Because he wasn't raised right or by a man, which is a lie. Stop trying to blame us mothers because we do the best we can for them and the same for our girls. But then that's where I say, this shouldn't even be a fucking discussion for you, Nika, because Hayward is in your son's life, right? 
So it really doesn't matter if this is a lie to you, if it's wrong, or if people should not say this. Because their father is there, right? Their father is there to give them hardcore love. Their father is there to give them guidance, okay? Give them guidance on everything, right? That's what you tell us. Because with co-parenting, that's what you give. You might not have it every day, but best believe I'm having it multiple times out of a month where my father is here and guiding and showing me the way. That's a part of fucking co-parenting. And that is why I wanted to bring up this post because then it's where again you hear on Facebook you say one thing on YouTube and on Facebook but then you turn around and put your own foot in your mouth to say these kids father is not around the only time he shows up is when you ready to fucking lay down and that lay down don't last long enough it doesn't last long enough to teach the kids anything and talking about Somebody teaching their kid when you out here and teaching these kids absolutely nothing. Instead, I'm blaming them. I'm blaming them for everything, okay? And yelling, cussing them out instead of sitting down trying to teach and show them the fucking way. So then it's where I say it doesn't matter if you're raising boys or girls. If you're not teaching them, they won't be fucking taught. If you're not teaching them, they'll be... Just like you out here in this society, stuck, lost, and all these things, and fucking illiterate, still holding on to the past, living in the past, refusing to work, refusing to make the way, always want to rely on the government, don't want to get out there and break your back for the kids. This is what you have, okay? You are a product of not being fucking taught. You are a product of... Give no fucks. You are a product of it's of a whole lot of generational mental ill ish going on. You are the product of it, and then not only are you the product, but then you're trying to push your kids at her to be that same product of you because you refuse to get it fucking right. So then that's why I'm I'm wondering how do you make a post of this talking about a mother raising. Uh, uh, boys by yourself when you say you fucking co-parenting, okay? Because for me, then you would say I'm here and I'm raising, but I'm not doing it all by myself. Because then you say on the other end where we're co-parenting when he's with his father is, hey, pull your pants up. Hey, stand like this. Hey, don't talk like that. Hey, did it give them some type of guidance. But when you have no action nowhere, it leave them lost and stuck. Not even saying a father, same way as a mother. I think a mother that's in a childish mind frame, childish mode, can't raise fucking kids. You can't. Because what can you teach them? Nika Kids is the fucking product. A product of having a child as a fucking parent. I would say, I mean, you have younger adults that's out here in the YouTube streets with multiple kids, okay? Doing a damn thing. Doing a damn thing better than these old ass women that continue to sit here on social media, okay? Talking about their life, believe that they are giving something, refuse to go out there and get it, but I want to receive a handout. I want to receive a cash out, but then I talk about all the backlash that I receive of what I give and do. Just saying. We have so many of them. Stop trying to blame us mothers because we do the best that we can for them. You can't put yourself in that category because you're not doing the best for your kids. You're not doing shit. You think doing something nice or feeding your kids something different is always going to McDonald's, buying a 40-piece nugget, trying to share it among eight kids. I mean, it's just impossible. It's just like a fucking snack. You think you're doing your best because you're throwing some slop together for your children. You are not, okay? You are not, so you shouldn't put yourself in that category. World because being too hard on them can make them delusional. <laughs> being too hard on your kid can make them delusional. Y'all hear me with that? We talk about delusional all the time. I don't think being hard on your kid can make them delusional, okay? But what can make you delusional is when your parent can't show you shit, teach you shit. No, what can make you delusional is when your parent is delusional, they damn self. Yeah, that can make you feel delusional and be delusional your fucking self. You've seen a lot in your days in life, but you refuse to change anything that you are given 
to your kids. Even when people is in your comments and they're giving active criticism, just point out some things that you can do different as you being a mother and the age of fucking 40, you have that four and zero behind you now. I think that you would give different because life is all about growing. If you're not elevating and growing, but you just staying stuck, Stand stuck so when somebody come back and they say, damn, she's still living the same. Damn, she still look the same. Damn, it's a different year and she still, she still have these same patterns. What the fuck is she giving? You lose a lot of people. How does that help me with stand with somebody that's fucking stuck and not moving? You know what they can do? They can actually pull you in and pull you right along with them of the things that they are giving because I'm not moving. And if I'm not moving, I might want you to stand still, too. I'm just saying. Y'all got school kids, okay? Elementary, junior high, high school. I'm already about to lose my voice. How many of y'all have them, okay? Now, if the school system or whatever district you are in, since COVID, okay, after COVID, they have been providing laptops okay something new doing their work in class on laptops uh bringing a, a laptop home can y'all tell me what do they bring the laptop home for do they bring the laptop home because i need something to do with i want to get on youtube and i want to play games it's is that why they offer the laptops y'all drop it in the comments down below let me know for the district, okay, for the district that I am in, uh, YouTube is restricted. Uh, certain games, okay, you can't get the laptop and play Roblox or um, none of those things. All those different sites are restricted, okay? Um, I don't know how y'all's work, but I'm just saying for my district. Uh, when my baby is in elementary school, they are not able to bring their laptops home unless they are sent, okay? Have not been brought home yet. But knowing with the laptops being brought home, I'm pretty sure the teacher gives them instructions of how to care for the laptop, okay? Not only that, they also let you know at the beginning, parents have to sign off of bringing this laptop home, Y'all would take full care of it, okay? Keep it in good condition. It is not to be brought home as a toy. It is brought home because they have assignments and things to work on. For mine, he can't bring his laptop home unless they want something, a certain thing done. But so far, they keep it locked up. He's not able to bring it home. <clears throat> My daughter is in high school, okay? She has a laptop. She... Works on this laptop. This is her laptop that they issued. She done had it since last year. You have to keep up with it. Take care of it. And when you turn it in, it has to be in good condition. If it's not in good condition, who fault is it? I would say the kid's fault, but who has to pay for it? Who has to come up with the fucking funds? I do. Okay? I, I gotta be... I gotta... I gotta do it. So at the end of the day, she's on here and she's talking about the kids and their laptops. But we also heard this before in a video where she said that she told them that they are not allowed to bring these laptops home because she is not responsible if they are if they was to get broken or any of those things. But if you are a parent and you are in communication and signing papers with the school system, you know why they issue the laptops and why the kids have to bring the laptops home. They have to bring the laptops home just in case they do have assignments, doing homework, certain things like that. Don't we know that, y'all? I'm just saying. So how can these kids sneak the laptops in after she done told them not to bring it home when they fucking got to do homework? Can y'all help me? It makes no fucking sense. I'm to get hurt. Leave you go upstairs and go to sleep. Leave that computer downstairs when them kids tell. I'm not paying no five to hundred dollars for no computer. Put in the boys' closet last night. If you go to sleep, let me know and I will come get it. Cause I'm not leaving it up there when you go to sleep. But then I'm playing. When I go up there and you sleep, I'ma take it and not give it back. That's a school computer and I'm not paying for that. I done tell y'all kids y'all bill high from last year and the year before last y'all owe all that damn money for breaking them damn laptops. You ain't gonna graduate. Y'all ain't gonna graduate like that. Kaya too, and that's Kaya's computer that you own now. 
I ain't paying for that stuff. A mother's job is never done. I do all that I need to do for my kids. Okay, I don't need nobody telling me nothing. I teach them, okay, I show them the way, okay. I bring in structure. Everything over here is good and great, right? Things that they make and the things that they destroy, okay, is your problem, okay? Kids can't come up with the coins to pay for anything that they destroy. I think as being a mother, you have to hold your grounds and you have to teach your kids. You have to bring structure. They should be able to know things that we're supposed to break, things we are not supposed to break. We should know these things. But when you have a parent that's all about self, okay, all about self, and, and, and within this situation, I don't look at me and my kids as being a fucking package. I just have to say it, okay? I look at my kids and I look at myself, okay? That's why I can uh, get my food, feed my face first, and wait for the other chicken to finish in the air fryer and then give it to the kids, Instead of make sure all my kids have their food and what they need and then I'll sit down and eat. Y'all don't have cups because of this or that. Blaming the kids why they don't have a cup to drink out of because they throw it away. You're not supposed to hold on to the cups. I talked about it. It's bacterial. Okay? Bacteria will eat shit away. Okay? I'm just saying. Your teeth, enamel, your gums, all that shit. Okay? It make you sick. E. coli, it's not fucking good, okay? It'll take you out. You have to be cautious and careful, okay? Dealing with chicken or any meat or anything. I'm just saying, we watch you on an everyday basis. Don't understand, they will be left behind if they don't pay school fees. How will they be left behind if they don't pay school fees? Kids can't be responsible for school fees. And then when they send out the letter of something that you owe or need to be paid, it's not for the kid, it's for the adult, it's for the parent, it's for the guardian. You get that? The adult, the parent, the guardian, okay? This is who it's for because you're supposed to oversee them at all times dealing with a property of the school. I'm just saying Anyways, y'all. Before graduation, always having these laptops laying around my house when my babies get them and break the screen. Teach them not to have it laying around. If they're done doing their schoolwork on it, why not take it and put it up, right? So the babies or the other kids can't get it and break the fucking screens. This is the same shit you was dealing with last year. Now it's the same shit you're dealing with this year. Bring in laptops. They have to bring the laptops. This is what they need, okay? They day-to-day -day for school. This is how they do their work. This is something that they have to bring home. So once it's brought home, it's your job. It's your due diligence, okay, to make sure that the school property stay good and great and it sit right back as they sent it to your house for your children okay <laughs> um i simply told them not to bring them home they sneaked them in and found the computer in their clear book bags like y'all don't listen they have to bring them home they bringing them home for a fucking reason. Sneaking it in. Let me know. Make it make sense. Does that make sense to y'all? She told them not to bring it home. So how's they supposed to do their work, nigga? As a, as a parent, some people shouldn't be allowed and able to have fucking kids. Okay, especially when you can't teach them because they have to grow up. And if they don't catch on themselves... You continue to continue and continue to make that same fucking product. That same fucking product that's not benefiting anything, anybody, and not even fucking society. Just saying. Real talk. Uh, what she say? They don't listen to nothing. So hard head. Soon as it get broken, nobody wants to take accountability. Even if they take fucking accountability, 
They don't have the coins to fucking pay for it. So even at the end of the day, if you was to go to the school and said, hey, I don't want these kids bringing this home, okay? They not going to look at the kids being responsible for your shit. It's your shit. You take accountability of being the parent, okay? Being responsible. Showing them what to do and not to do. Okay, you don't have kids just for them to fly by and fucking make it for their fucking self. I mean, they'll, they'll get to it. They'll learn somehow. Uh, it's their fault. It's responsibility. They need to take accountability. No, bitch, you need to take accountability. Take accountability for your kids. Take accountability for not teaching them. Take an accountability for not showing them how to take care of shit. Take accountability for not showing them the way, okay? The way of how you supposed to treat certain things. Showing them, taking accountability for showing them certain things within life you need to appreciate. You need to take care of it. Okay? I'm just saying. It's your shit for not showing your kids. I mean, <laughs> take accountability. <laughs> you broke it? Take accountability and pay for that shit. She's a dumb one, y'all. I'm sorry. Shanika is a dumb one. Okay? Fucking default. Uh, nobody wants to take accountability for it. Here we as parents got to dish out all our money to make sure they make it to the next grade or make it to another school. Talking not doing no good. I need a good switch or belt or something. I let my baby sit with me and watch mine's paying attention to their every move. We currently have... Two TVs after they broken two after they broken two motherhood ain't easy at all, especially when you doing it all by yourself. But you're not doing it all by yourself. Hayward and you are co-parenting and you have fucking help. You are not doing it alone. So why do you come in these posts and talk about motherhood is hard when you are co-parenting? You have somebody to actually come in and pick up the fucking slack. Ain't that what you said that y'all co-parent? I don't care if y'all co-parent every other month. Y'all co-parent, right? So you're not doing it by yourself. I think motherhood is hard for the single mothers that have no fucking help. They stand alone and do it alone. I mean, just like you, right? Just like you. But you always talking about how hard motherhood is, but you're not doing shit to change it. <clears throat> you're not doing shit to change it. All you do is continue to sing this same old song, just like your little fucking railroads, okay? I'm just saying, them songs that you continue to sing over and over again, she don't never give y'all shit new, do she? I'm just saying, motherhood is what the fuck you make it, and I continue to say it. If you want it to be hard, it's gonna be hard. If you want it to be the best, or I'm trying that's what it's going to be. Sometimes you need to take heed to what your bookies is saying. Sometimes you need to take heed to what other people is saying. It might just help a little bit. I'm just saying. It's nothing wrong with help. Help ain't always got to be sending you some fucking money. Help ain't always got to be sending you something. Okay, it don't. Take a little fucking advice. Open your fucking ears up and just listen a little bit. Listen a little bit to add it in, to build structure. Not only that, to help you with motherhood and teach your kids in the fucking process. I mean, it ain't easy at all, especially when you're doing it by yourself. Of course, they didn't ask to be here. So blessed to have them. Y'all listen. I'm complaining, but they didn't ask to be here, and I'm so blessed to have them. If you're so blessed to have your children, okay, treat them like you are blessed. Treat treat them like they are something special. Treat them like shit. You are the product, the product of me because I don't want better for myself. Not only better for myself, but better for myself so I can show y'all the way. Okay, so I'll be able to give y'all better. And with giving y'all better, it allows y'all to be better and have fucking better. I continue to say that same shit. And I know I repeat myself a lot. Just like we pay the bills all the time. And guess what? The bills never change. I talk all the time because guess what? Bitch, if you just get up and you just do what you got to do, 
You'll see all your kids cross the stage. You'll see all your kids want to move to a bigger level or a greater level. You won't see your kids just staying stuck at that same level. I'm 14 and I don't know how to comb my hair or do none of those things. You still keep them at stuck. I'm four, I'm five, I'm still not potty trained. I don't know what's fucking next. You know why? Because she don't teach me. A lot of mothers out here doing that damn thing and I continue to salute every last one of them, okay? Single mother, married, however, they do their damn thing because you could be married and still be single as fuck. I'm just saying, you could be in a relationship with your child father and still be single as fuck, doing it all by yourself. So I salute the ones that actually stand on y'all shit and put the work in. Put the work in and when you put the work in, you say, damn, I didn't know I could do it by myself. But at the end of the day, I had no choice and we're having no choice. I still gave it my fucking all. And we're giving my all when I see my product, okay? When I see my product out here, it allows me to put a smile on my face and say, good fucking job, okay? Because you have plenty, okay? You have plenty that's just like this. You have plenty that's out here in the YouTube streets giving what they giving, continue to complain about motherhood, but we never thought about motherhood when I said, come lay with me. I give no fucks. You got a girlfriend? I give no fucks. What? You thinking about having a wife? I give no fucks. You got a wife right now? I give no fucks. Just let me have the baby. Just let me have a piece of you. Okay? I'm just saying. We don't stand on that. Okay, if you didn't catch it the first time, as I always say, long as you caught it and with you catching it, you was able to put out a good ass fucking product. And then you say, when you see and you hear and you look at your product, you say, I did all this shit by myself. And man, did I complain sometimes? Yeah, I did. But I put that fucking work in the best that I could ever give. I'm just saying. Here, so blessed to have them all. They just need to listen and stop mouthing off as well. I'm getting tired of fussing and breaking. The I'm getting tired of fussing about breaking the rules. We haven't had a group meeting in a while and are living. So I'm going to do one this weekend when school is not in Friday. Have a group meeting, okay? I think what you said, have a group meeting, your group meetings haven't changed anything. You had a group meeting with the kids. Before, y'all remember when she was in 20 solo, okay? She's in 20 solo, kids not cleaning up, doing what they supposed to do. Now I'm going to have another group meeting because they're not listening and breaking the rules. They're not breaking the rules by bringing the school devices to the fucking house. You're breaking the rules because somewhere in there where you sign, if you read every fucking thing, talking about bringing school property to the house, you are responsible. You have to take accountability. So you can't always blame it on the kids because then there's where you say, as a parent, when you walk through your household and you see some shit out of order, what we do as a parent is we do what we got to do to correct that situation at that moment, at time. If my kids haven't caught on yet to at the end of the day with this uh, device, if you don't take care of it, I got to fucking pay for it. I'm going to get it up off the floor. Better yet, if it's in a backpack, I'm going to put the backpack up somewhere because it has a device that doesn't need to come up broken again. Uh, Again, when I have all these fucking TVs in my house and my kids break everything, they break every fucking thing that they receive. Not only that, the air mattress that they have to continue to sleep on, they even puncture that. They don't appreciate shit because they haven't been taught to appreciate. Then you would say same thing with nigga. You don't appreciate shit because you ain't never been taught to appreciate shit. Ain't that, that's some shit you will say, right? Then when we try to throw everything back to the root, okay, there's the root deep down in the ground, okay? If, if your parents refuse to water, okay, and do everything in their power in order for my granddaughter or my daughter to grow, okay? If you abandon, you abandon the tree, you abandon the root. But I'm still rooted to abandonment. 
Okay, I'm still rooted to neglect. I'm still rooted to what would I say? SA. I'm gonna leave it just like that. I'm still rooted to illiteracy. I'm still rooted to being a slow ass hoe at her. I'm still rooted to that. I ain't trying to break no cycle. That her and her were co parent, and we know that they don't. She just said it. Doing it by yourself, raising kids by yourself, co parenting. He can be there. You could be there, but when we come together for the kids, we come as one, okay? We might not even come as one. We might be just a little off, but we come together, okay? Because even though we are apart, we still come together as one. So then you would say, hey, we should just be a phone call away to say, hey, I already talked to these kids. Can you talk to these kids? Because they still breaking rules, breaking rules of bringing their laptops home. They can't do shit about that. That's what they're supposed to do, okay? And you have to be responsible for it and take accountability for it because I'm pretty sure you signed that paper. You signed that paper about the school fucking property. I mean, it's just what we have to do as being a mother. And having group meetings, sometimes you have to discipline each child in a different way. They don't catch the yelling and screaming and cussing them out. They just don't. I mean, that's what you call a package. Better yet, when you co-parenting, he should be able to teach his boys a lot. But to me, it seems like he sleep on his boys. He gives no fuck, okay? But I know you don't have the time or the energy to teach them because you don't even want to work for them, okay? They can't be responsible for themselves. They can't raise themselves. They can't pay school debt themselves when they parent. They parent who allows them to be stuck already because I don't push them within... They education and learning, okay, I allow them to be stuck in the same grade and just turning in numbers and years, but I'm still stuck. But I want to talk about if they don't pay for a laptop, they won't graduate. They'll be in the same grade. So then that's where I say, I hope none of your kids is stuck in the same grade because the school sent a, a laptop home and they broke it and you refused to pay for it. I'm just saying, make it make sense. Then that's where you say, you're allowing them to suffer again. You allowing them to be left behind again. She did it again. She continued to do the same damn thing. Anyway, y'all, that's it. That's all. I just saying, co-parenting, that ain't it. Especially not when y'all can't come together for your kids on no days, okay? Talking about the broken TVs, well, you learn from it. If you know that they broke one before, then, hey, you do something different for the second one. But when you're not in your house and bringing structure within your house, I mean... <coughs> It is what it is. When you got a whole food hostage in your trunk because you scared that the kids will go through it, these kids don't know no better. It's like they living out in the fucking wild. You just learn as you go and not learning anything. But these are your children, not ours, okay? But this is what you put on display, okay? And then you complain about it. You should have been changed it, okay? Give them some time. Show them the way. Put in the effort. The effort for fucking change. Can't change shit when you don't want better. Don't want better for your household. Want a wild, loose household. That's what you're going to get. I mean. Anyways, y'all. That's it. That's all. That's all that I have for today's reaction video. If y'all like today's reaction video, let's set those thumbs up. And if y'all have not, I do ask that you do do. Do 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 do. Do subscribe. Okay. Y'all already know everything that it's like I give over here ain't nothing for us. But what I ask for y'all to do is drop y'all comments down below. Let me know about this sitcho with this sicko. Don't ever say what a woman can't do or what a man can't do. Nobody knows, okay? Only you know by when the product, when the product is pushed out here. I would, some of these people have mothers and fathers, and they come out being a product of whatever the fuck they want to be. And then you would say, where was your mother or your father? I was raised by both. So I'm just saying, that's just my thought on it, but who am I? Just, it's Lala. Anyways, y'all, see y'all on the next reaction video. Peace. Ooh,